dodging plenty of orange barrels both this spring and summer. Today, ODOT updated its plan to build and repair roads around the Dayton region. One key project involves fixing the Stop 8 bridge that crosses over Interstate 75. It has been hit several times recently by trucks that are too tall to pass underneath it. Repairs will be finished by next October. Of course, as you know, Interstate 75 is getting most of the attention of late. Alexa Ashwell live with an update on the improvements and how that impacts our local economy. Alexa? Well, Mark, the department has more than 60 projects lined up this year out of its nine-county district, one being the second phase of the I-75 modernization project here in downtown Dayton. The completion of projects like this one are what officials say will keep Ohio's economy moving. Each day, hundreds of thousands of drivers pass through this stretch of 75 near downtown Dayton. It serves as a main artery, helping transport more than $4 billion in goods throughout the Buckeye State annually. Therefore, its preservation is pertinent to both the state and local economy, as are 19 other projects, like the completion of the 75 South Dixie Drive interchange. These projects will finally give motorists all four movements at the interchange, allowing the direct interstate access and removing the need to take side streets or make U-turns. Allowing companies such as UPS located off South Alex Road to save time and money. ODOT officials toured the West Carrollton facility, which covers 8,700 miles, delivering approximately 25,000 packages per day. UPS told me direct access to I-75 will save the company an estimated 60 gallons of fuel a day. This will enable our drivers to start delivering much earlier to the businesses in the uh, a.m., the morning time, and will cut out our surface traffic uh, presence on the ground. And while there's no shortage of orange barrels around the Dayton region, ODOT officials are trying to figure out how to build new roads with a $1.6 million deficit. Construction costs are up, and revenue from gas taxes is down. We're looking at converting our non-interstate rest areas into service plazas to offset maintenance costs and generate new revenue. We're also exploring the opportunity to seek sponsorship and naming rights for certain infrastructure projects. And as for the modernization project, the second phase is expected to be completed in June 2013. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.